Long Distance Short is back with another episode to help you unlock the power of gifts. Natasha, Director of Digital Marketing at Gift Baskets Overseas, brings us a new guest, Mary Ann, Digital Marketing and Brand Manager for Gift Senda. Both are ready to dive deep into the topic, how gifting impacts conversions in your industry. This data-driven deep dive will answer your questions about how impactful gifts are to your bottom line and give you tips and tricks to improve your team's performance. Stay tuned to learn more about the unconventional ways to boost your conversions and leave your VIPs smiling. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Long Distance Short, your podcast on all things corporate gifting. Today, we have a very interesting topic to cover, how gifting impacts conversions. And for this conversation, we have a very special guest. Marianne, could you please introduce yourself and let us know a little bit more about Giftsenda? Hi, it's so nice to be here. I am Marianne and I'm the digital marketing and brand manager at Giftsenda. Um, Giftsenda is a corporate gifting platform that enables businesses to send corporate gifts all over the world using automated gifting and various other tools. Thank you. So let us start from the beginning. What is a good conversion rate? How does the conversion rate change by industry and why? Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure. So conversion rates depict the percentage of targeted leads that arrive at a desired outcome. And this can be clicks, form submissions, file downloads, or even closed deals. And these are often measured against a business's projected results. So unfortunately, it's quite difficult to say what is a good conversion rate because these have to be vetted against like um, the different verticals of the industries and also channels. Um, And also low cost B2C items are easier to sell and there's typically less risk involved than a B2B item, for example. Um, And then if you look at these slides, these are also good examples of how they can vary. For example, if you look at this one, um, the average conversion rate for call and forms from organic search, um, you can see that professional services, B2B services, um, industrial and travel verticals have higher conversion rates. And these um, differences will be across various channels and verticals. Thank you. It's quite interesting. So from what I'm seeing here is actually depending on the industry your company is in your product, the nature of your product, and also the channel that you are trying to sell it through, the conversion rates or uh, different types of communications with your potential clients will be quite different. Exactly. So that's also why one would adjust the way that you are trying to achieve these conversion rates according to your needs. It's quite natural to think here that probably some piece of communication being sent, like an email that we have on screen right now, sent Mm -hmm. to your customers who already know you, know your company, know the product, will convert much better than, let's say, organic search when people just come to your website from search results. Maybe they see the brand name for the first time in their life, and they are much less likely to convert in this case. Yeah. Sure. So let's talk about unconventional ways to boost the uh, closing rates, to boost the conversions, uh, converting people to uh, to uh, buy the product. What can you tell us about the unconventional ways to improve this? So um, gifting is one of these unconventional ways that you can increase your conversion rates. And it's a great tool because 
it is something that businesses can use to build relationships um, and also nurture relationships. And some ways that you can use this, for example, is to use um, gift invites as a part of your meeting invites. And this should help increase the invite acceptance rates. You can also get more form submissions with first contact gifts. For example, if you've got a form on your website, um, you can use a call to action saying, uh, say for example, you have a form for demos. Um, you could say, book a demo and receive your free gift. And this gift could then be sent uh, to your lead using Gift Sender. And uh, we have various ways to do this. Um, and one of the best ways in this instance would be using a link. And the person could access the link and then fill in their details. Uh, this would be delivery details and the delivery date that they require. And they could accept the gift. And then you've sent a gift with minimal effort. It's um, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all about making things as easy as possible. And um, especially if you're sending gifts internationally, um, one doesn't always know the delivery details of your recipients. And it's also much safer to ask them to provide them to prevent failed deliveries, for example. And then also you can send gifts to loyal customers for client retention. Um, we all know that nurturing your current clients is very important because getting new clients is much more expensive. So you can send gifts to them um, during milestones, for example, saying thanks for working with us for five years or send them holiday gifts or even if you've got a, a business partner that you have been working with for a while and you understand their interests, maybe on their birthday, um, send them something personal that they will enjoy to make them realize and remember that you're putting them first and that you value their business. It totally makes sense. So it sounds like you can use this unconventional approach, very personal and human on every step of the way of converting your customer. I can see that you have a, a suggestion of coffee chats to increase meeting invites. So when you are just getting to know your potential customer, if you don't mm -hmm. just ask them for a call, but you invite them for virtual or in-person coffee chat, it can increase the likelihood of them actually accepting the offer. But yeah. when you get deeper into the funnel, uh, you start using gifts. Do you think that sending the gift uh, to someone on the stage of coffee chat is a little bit too early? Yeah, uh, it probably <laughs> is. <laughs> you don't want the gift to come across as a bribe, for example. I know in some countries uh, this would not come across well. So using a coffee chat uh, or a coffee voucher um, is a it's a nicer way of doing it. And if you think about it, if you had an in-person meeting and you were a sales rep, you would probably pay for the coffee for that other person. So you're just taking it online now. And it also just shows that you're willing to um, put some money uh, into the relationship. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, another thing that you could do, and this is later in the final, is to use gifts to reignite cold leads. Um, a way that you could do this is, for example, if you're using HubSpot or Salesforce, um, pull up a list of all your cold leads, um, and then you could integrate this with gift sender and create a special campaign for these people with a nice message and maybe a gift uh, that is not too expensive um, just to sort of get the conversation going. And once you have that, then you could possibly convert more of these leads and turn them into actual customers. 
It's a wonderful idea, I think. So we have introductory strategy here. We have means to increase uh, submission uh, of forms or people yeah. revealing their contacts in some kind of an exchange for gifts. Uh, we can also uh, retain loyal customers better and improve uh, improve relationships with them and uh, wake some sleeping contacts with <laughs> as well. I think it's it's wonderful. So let's yeah, there's a gift on. for every occasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's jump on our next question. Why do you think that this um, mean of improving conversion rates is unconventional? Well, firstly, not all of your competitors will be using this. Um, using a gift first approach is still quite a new idea. So it is something where you're, you're giving a gift without requiring them to give back. So you're trying to open the floor for conversation. Um, and I think a lot of companies might say, so why would I put money into something where I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get a return? But the actual fact is that you will probably get more conversions by doing this because you're changing the normal way that people expect companies to do business. So people expect companies to say, hey, buy from us, we've got something for you, and not come to a conversation and say, hey, here's something for you. You know, we think you might like this. Um, and also, would you like to talk to us about doing business with us? So it's a different conversation. I totally understand this. I think that you know, having something in your lead converting arsenal that is not used by all of your competitors, mm -hmm. something that, uh, as you say, breaks away from, uh, from others' uh, sales approaches is really, really yeah. interesting thing to have. As a customer of so many businesses, I would say that they have much higher probability of having a conversation with me if they don't just send me an email saying, we can solve all of your problems, let's chat. If it's something like, let's have a coffee chat, coffee is on us. <laughs> and you, yeah. you can choose uh, the time when you want to have this conversation. I, I would probably consider talking to them much uh, much more seriously than uh, than I usually do with all this, you know, cold sales outreach emails that I receive. And having uh, re uh, received some gift or any token of attention and appreciation from the company that I have some business with probably will influence my decision to stay with them or to be upsold at some moment with their services, no matter how we humans try to stay logical and, you know, cold calculating, we are still influenced by these emotions of reciprocation and, and this kind of um, connection with even with the businesses, not with individuals. So I think it's it's really a good and conventional method to try and, and increase conversions of your leads to customers or visitors to your website or uh, someone on your email list to, to your actual active leads. It's a good one. Yeah, and I mean, who doesn't like receiving a gift? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure, especially if I can choose one. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know my <laughs> preference well. So research <laughs> comes into play as well for the business that wants to influence their customers. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, also, for example, if, if you if you could choose your gift, which is also possible there, and um, one can send gift collections and the person can choose a gift from that collection that they would like most, the fact that you're letting them choose something that they like instead of sending them a generic cap with a logo on or a 
coffee mug, you're the, letting them maybe choose a gift basket or something for their desk. And if they don't necessarily book a meeting now, uh, they they will receive the gift and it'll stand on the desk and they'll look at it and it will be a reminder. And maybe a week or two later, they think, hey, oh, I was looking at this company. Let me book that meeting. So it might also be a sort of longer game in some instances. Sure. And to wrap up this conversation about the gifts as the means to uh, to improve in conversion rates. Can you please tell us a little bit more technical aspects of platform solution? How do businesses benefit from using a platform solution for their gifting needs? Uh, sure. So I think the one thing that people would think first about saying, okay, how how can I use gifting for my business? Um, but you would also want to track it, right? You don't want to just spend money on gifts and not be able to track the return on investment. So that is one of the main features of the platform is that you are able to see the return on investment of your gifting activities. Um, all the campaign results are tracked on a dashboard and you can also export reports to look at it and optimize your campaigns. Um, so tracking is one of the main things. Um, and another thing is, so when you are trying to send gifts internationally, it can be quite difficult because if you weren't using a gifting platform that allows you to do this, you would have to do research um, in Say, for example, you want to send to Poland, Canada, USA, India, you would have to go to websites in all those countries, maybe use Google Translate to understand the shops. Um, so this seems like a lot of time and effort. Um, but what a platform does, uh, it houses all the gifts in one space. You can specify which countries you want to send to select those gifts. And if there's something that you want to send and it isn't on the catalog, you're always able to reach out to the gift sender team and we'll try and source that for you and make it happen. So basically you can buy, send and track all your gifts in one central space. It's um, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it makes it much easier. Um, and then another thing is uh, a lot of companies also use CRMs. Um, so you can integrate your Salesforce and HubSpot CRM with Gift Sender. So this means that you can send gifts directly from within your CRM to your contacts. And this is all still tracked. It just fast tracks your gifting. Um, and we also have a Gmail add-on, so you can send gifts from within Gmail. So you can create your gift link and add it to the Gmail, and you can share gift links to a thousand people if you want to. Um, the, the cool part of the gift link is that they can choose the gift they want, provide their um, address and details, and only once you have accepted their acceptance of the gift will you be charged. So you won't be spending money that you don't want to spend. Um, that's quite a cool feature. <coughs> Sorry. And then, um, yeah, so the other thing is bulk gifting. Um, you can send gifts in bulk very easily using the platform. There are various automated features that let you do that. You can also um, upload contacts. You can sync contacts from your... CRM, or you can use the gift link or gift uh, email gift invites to send out invites, which people can then accept. And this can take you a few minutes to do instead of hours. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. To me, it sounds like gifting here uh, becomes measured and what is measured can be optimized and improved. 
And for me yeah. as a marketing executive, and I am sure for a lot of specialists around the world in biz dev, in sales, uh, it would be something that can make or break their decision to actually use gifts. How do I measure? How do I know if something uh, was influenced in the process by my sending a gift? So if I have access to some let's say, dashboard that will provide me with information. Okay, that this is this was the budget spent. Uh, this is how many gifts were accepted. Uh, this resulted in this outcome for my business. And I can actually um, put some conversion rate on my uh, delivered gifts. I think it's something that that makes this a real strategy for improving conversion rates for achieving sales, not just a beautiful gesture, you know, to to send something to your important uh, clients or leads whom you perceive as uh, potential customers. Yeah, what gets measured and tracked can be improved and can produce better results. So it's a very viable solution for, for a business. Yeah, and I think we mustn't forget that it's also just about spreading joy and building good business relationships by actually putting people first. So thank you so much, Marianne. It was Marianne Flange from Giftsanda introducing the deep dive into unconventional methods of closing deals and improving conversion rates uh, for, for your business. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been another episode of Long Distance Short, your podcast for tips, tricks, and real life stories of how to make the most of any long distance relationship. If you want to learn more about a corporate gift campaign with giftbasketsoverseas.com, you can email the team at corporate at giftbasketsoverseas.com. Call toll-free for the U.S. and Canada at 1-888-673-2822 or request a call by going directly to the website www.giftbasketsoverseas.com.